Hi everyone, it's me Miss Fairy Mouse. Wow, I didn't think I'd have to make this kind of video. At this time in my life, I didn't think I'd have to make this kind of video. So, we are in a situation at the moment, people. Yes, I am a trans woman. If this is your first time here, please take a few moments to just sit and listen to what I have to say. It's quite important and it does affect everybody at the end of the day. It may You may just think it's a me problem with me being trans and me being attacked by the world at the moment, but it is everyone's problem. And let me explain why, okay? Trans people were born like this, okay? There's nothing we can do. It wasn't a choice. It wasn't um, a phase. It isn't something that's in fashion. That That's why we're doing it. As soon as I was born, I knew that I felt like a girl and that I was in the wrong body and there's nothing I could ever do about that and as I grew up I learned more about it and did my research and understood about it and understood that you know there wasn't anything wrong with me it's just the way I was made science is a wonderful thing and science can prove that trans people were born that way our brains function the same or if not the same very similar to genetic women now let me just point this out straight away and say that trans women are not the same as genetic women. We're different. Of course we're different. No one's ever said that we're the same. I've never said that I'm the same as a genetic woman. I'm a proud trans woman. I'll always be a proud trans woman. I'm not trying to be, pretend to be a genetic woman. I'm not trying to take anything away from genetic women's rights or their lives or intimidate them or anything like that. As a trans woman, I'm only attracted to men. So I have no interest in women anyway. When I go to public toilets, I use the toilet and then I leave. That's all I do. I don't have any interest in in attacking women or looking at women underneath the toilet stool or anything like that. I just want to go to the toilet. And this other connection that people started to put with trans people and children. I can't stand children. <laughs> I don't want children. I don't really want any children around me apart from my nieces and nephews. Okay? I have no interest in anything like that. So I don't understand that connection either. And if the connection with trans people and children has to do with the fact that parents might be allowing their children to transition at a younger age than like 16, then that's between the parents and the child. The same way that when you, you, you raise your children, that is between you and your child. No one else gets involved, do they? People don't call social services because you dye your child's hair or because you get their ears pierced, do they? So let parents and ch trans children sort out their own problems in their own time and without having you breathing down their neck. The other thing is as well that you have to understand that we're just normal people like you. Our brains just work in a different way. We're not drag queens. We're not cross-dressers. We're not transvestites. We're not sissies. Where we were born this way, everything else that I've just talked about is a choice, whether it's a job or a chosen lifestyle or a fetish. Trans people are not a fetish. The way we are is the way we were born. There's nothing we can do about it. The same as straight people were born the way that they were born, the same as gay and lesbian people were born the way that they were born. There's nothing we can do about it. Instead of listening to the news who are using trans people as a diversion and a reason for you to pay attention to us instead of paying attention to the fact that we have no money for our NHS, we have no money for children at schools, we have no money for teachers, we have no money to feed ourselves at the moment because the government have put all the prices up. This has nothing to do with trans people. Trans people have never been a threat. I've been a trans woman, well, all my life, but I transitioned 25 years ago and for most of that time I've been able to live my life normally without any problems and thank God touch wood I still don't have any issues but if the law changes then that could become a possibility. Do you know what I mean? I don't want to be arrested trying to go to the toilet. There's no way I can go into a man's toilet. It's ridiculous. I need to sit down. So please think of my safety in the same way you would a woman's safety because it's just as dangerous for me as a trans woman as it is for a woman. And can I just clarify as well that trans women have no interest in doing anything to women in women's toilets. Straight men are the ones that attack women sexually and they don't need to dress up as a woman to do it. They've been doing it for hundreds and thousands of years in broad daylight, in back alleys, in pubs, in people's houses. They don't need to dress up as a woman to go into a woman's toilet and attack her. Please think about trans people in this time and just kind of have some compassion. You know, we're just human beings and we'd like to have the same respect that you have. Just remember that the media and the government are always going to use tactics to try and side people and get people on different groups and different places so that we all fight against each other instead of looking at the bigger picture, which is the government is screwing us over. Please have some compassion for trans people. We really need your help at the moment. Thanks very much. Have a good day. Lots of love.